Hello and kumusta. Today I'm going to start by showing you the plucking and then I'll show you the chords. If you've never seen a tab before, the lines represent the strings, except the top string here is actually the bottom line. The numbers represent which fret you're going to play relative to the capo. I'm using it on the first fret, but if you don't have a capo, it's just going to be relative to the open string. So we're going to start and it's going to sound like this. This one's pretty easy. We're just starting with the third finger on the third fret here, and it helps if you hold this while you play the other strings. And then the only other fret we're going to use is that second fret on the third string. Then you're going to play that one twice, and then move this third finger up to the fifth string and do basically the same thing. And that's all there is to it. This one's pretty simple and you should be able to get it pretty quick and it's nice and sounds really good with the song. So that's it for the plucking. Then if we want to move into the chords, we're going to use a G, a C9, and a C minor. Except I usually like to play it without the bar because that makes it a little bit easier. If you find these chords difficult, then you can start with my free intro to guitar course by clicking right here. Besides that, grab your G chord and we'll try out the strumming. It's going to sound like this. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And then you're going to play that twice on the G chord before switching to the C9, which you just need to move these two fingers down and then switch and end on that C minor. put those three chords together to play the entire chord progression and that's all there is to it. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. You can use either the plucking or the chords for the entire song and it'll sound just fine. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to get more videos like this and I'll see you in the next five minute guitar lesson.